I'm frequently asked, why would I not want to do a self-directed 401k? And as I look back on the folks that have uh, declined to use this as a uh, business strategy, uh, the people that choose not to will look at this in a couple of ways. They may see this as too complicated. They don't want to deal with um, their own participation or their employees' participation. So they're looking to avoid um, adding any complexity to their business. I certainly um, don't want people to take away that this is a complex deal. It's not. It, it, it's no more complex than any other business operation. Or, or process that you would have to execute. But at times people are just looking for very simplistic um, business situations and will elect not to use our program. The other uh, reason I hear people choose not to use our program is the context of employee uh, participation and the cost associated with that. And um, they're, they're very cost focused and at some level, I think that they're overly cost focused. They're trading off the ability to hire, to, well, to find, hire, and retain quality employees and the benefits that the 401k can do to help them do that. And they're, they're trading that off versus being able to save on the cost of having the 401k. Um, the matching contribution is only applied to eligible employees. And of those eligible employees, those uh, employees that choose to participate and defer it into the 401k. So I always coach people to evaluate their employee profiles and, and um, project out how many of those folks are gonna actually become eligible, how many of them are actually gonna wanna participate, and what that cost is, is uh, going to be to them.